Okay, we are ready to start. So uh, today we have a lot to cover. Uh, feel free to ask as many questions as you guys want. Uh, I will be showing uh, not only the presentation, but uh, other resources that we put together for this uh, webinar that I think uh, you guys will enjoy a lot. Uh, ideally, by the end of the, these webinars, uh, you will have an actionable plan that you guys can execute by yourself, or you can definitely knock on our door, and we'll happy uh, to help you execute those strategies. So with that said, let's uh, get started. The agenda for today, it's uh, what is the new normal in the industry? This is based on research and interviewing our colleagues uh, that are in the cleaning business. Uh, what's happening in social media, uh, some very interesting data from Google Trends uh, and Yelp the strategy that got us uh, 60 uh, cleaning leads in the past uh, 10 days using uh, Facebook and Instagram ads. This is uh, Jampro Miami, who is one of our clients who allow us to share this information. Uh, some of you, if you have already been into this webinar, we updated uh, the information as we're doing this series on a weekly basis and we're updating our strategies and data from this. No? Uh, also, what are we focusing on and uh, what we're recommending to our partners? And finally, resources for you and for your clients. So with that said, uh, this is me trying to work and entertain my two years old daughter. I think uh, most of us can relate into this situation, if you're uh, working from home, if you have kids without school, uh, everything has changed, no? And we just have to adapt and uh, try to make the best out of it and make it work. So for those uh, who don't know me, my name is Samuel Klein. Uh, I'm the CEO of uh, Motion Avenue and Cleaning in Motion. Uh, basically, I started my career almost 10 years ago in the marketing space. Uh, I originally am from Venezuela, moved to Israel, then uh, to New York, and now I'm in Miami. And uh, long story short, after having my, my ups and downs in the agency world, uh, I had an opportunity to help a friend in the commercial cleaning industry where his office also was uh, super big. So he gave me a space to, to work from there with my team. Uh, and we help them with marketing and thanks to him I got referred to our people in the industry and now we created a cleaning in motion that is an agency that focuses on helping cleaning businesses thrive online and offline no so let's get to the interesting part uh, if impact is your mission this is uh, the time to back it up uh, I, I, as I say to again to, to my team and my clients, uh, I think the ones that are gonna survive uh, this time is not uh, the people only. Sorry, it's not the people pursuing money. It's the people pursuing their why and their mission and and people who really want to make a difference and create an impact. No. The obstacle is the way as a. Uh, all of you know we are living crazy times. Uh, the game changed on a daily basis. Uh, new rules, new government programs. Uh, we don't know when the businesses are gonna open. So uh, we have to get used to uh, having obstacles and not run away from them, but uh, just uh, confront them and get creative on how to overcome. You know? New times ahead, uh, customers still need our services. Business needs uh, to keep showing up and having a voice. Uh, it's not like uh, everybody's gonna disappear from the world. Uh, a lot of businesses still need uh, what we have to offer. So we have to put our, ourselves out there now more than ever and uh, make things happen. It's very crucial that everyone uh, in business have a voice and. Uh, 
let your customers know that you are not going anywhere and uh, that you're providing your service. So what is the new normal? Uh, we are all turning into germophobics. I listened to some of uh, our clients called and uh, I think uh, you guys can relate that people are super paranoid. Uh, you just have to sneeze in, inside an elevator and it's, it would be like the most tense uh, moment in, in your life. Uh, so uh, that's good for our industry. And people are aware that uh, cleaning our offices, cleaning our homes, uh, it's more important than ever, no? So uh, for some of you, this is a new normal. Uh, I know that everyone is uh, taking precautions and, and adapting as much as they can. This is a cleaning crew from one of our clients. Others is, uh, again, with what they have, but uh, nevertheless taking precautions. And that's something very important for you to share with your clients as they need to know that uh, you're also adapting and uh, you're leading uh, what we call the new normal in our industry, no? So uh, with that said, uh, I think uh, every crisis brings new opportunities. Uh, and uh, uh, as much as we have suffered from this pandemic and all of us have uh, been impacted somehow, uh, and we got a lot of cancellations. There is also a lot of uh, opportunities that we're gonna talk later on. So uh, my advice uh, to all of you would be, uh, don't focus on the clients that always uh, has been a struggle that you always have to pursue to get uh, paid and uh, get that invoice uh, check and so on. So uh, focus on the clients that you know that they're gonna survive and they're gonna be here after everything goes back to normal uh, let the painful clients go time to show up that you're more than just a service provider it's important again that you have a voice that you add value some of you i know that uh, have a uh, gloves and mask and uh, a lot of people are looking for those so one uh, of the strategies that we're implementing with uh, our clients is that uh, every time that we go to clean, we leave uh, a couple of gloves and masks. Again, it's adding value, it's helping your current client and focusing a little bit on retention. Make real impact by helping local business stay safe during the pandemic. You are the, on the front lines, so cleaning and disinfecting, so business won't have to shut their doors. So be proud, communicate with your team, uh, as you're putting your health at risk so uh, uh, your clients can be uh, saved, safe. And uh, try hosting online events and tell your story. And we're gonna talk again a little bit more about that later on. But you guys are living, again, uh, in, in a crazy world and, and, and specifically this industry has so many uh, interesting stories as you're battling in the front lines. And it's important that, again, you have a voice and you tell those stories. So commercial cleaning will never be the same. That's my prediction. I think that once uh, this is over, and uh, I know that some states are talking about opening uh, their business, their doors very soon in the upcoming couple of weeks i think business will spend big dollars on cleaning their workspace and disinfecting products uh, i think that as i mentioned before this pandemic will turn us uh, all of us into germophobics and finally the race to the bottom is over clients won't be focused on the lowest price anymore they will look for the most professional, informed, well-equipped talent. And uh, that's why, again, it's so important to have a voice, to share your experience, to show the pictures uh, as I uh, showed before. Because uh, I think, I do really think that clients, uh, current clients, prospects, and, and, and businesses are going to look for people that make them feel safe, not uh, whoever charges uh, less, no?
So cleaning is coming, brace yourself as again, when people open their doors, one of the main priorities is gonna be clean their work space. And even the clients that you guys have on pause, probably they will add more days to their uh, cleaning contract, no? So it's important to put yourself out there. And this is another reason why you should put yourself out there. We are seeing a uh, social media consumption to the roof. So if you see this data, uh, basically from 2012 to 2019, uh, where the average uh, in 2019 was around uh, 2.5 hours that people spend on social media. Uh, today, since February and March, people are spending around 4.3 hours uh, only on social media, which is insane, and which give us a, a big opportunity to uh, be there, no, and to contribute and, and, and create a little bit of awareness about our business. So here it's uh, another way to see it, and, uh, more updated data where uh, websites traffic it's uh higher than even the apps which is not normal uh, and it's only going up no this youtube netflix facebook same is uh with other social media channels so for those who don't know facebook owns uh instagram uh, facebook messenger and whatsapp and uh, so when i say facebook uh, from now on i may refer to all of these channels so uh, what's trending right now no and uh, we are on a weekly basis uh, going all in with this tool google trends to create content to understand better where to target or advertising efforts or marketing efforts and google trends for those who don't know it's a tool a free tool from google that allows you to see in real time what's trending uh, on the web uh, and uh, on everything that is Google, no? uh, YouTube, Google Shopping, Google Search, and so on. So a curious uh, data that uh, it's not a surprise that uh, this is the kind of stuff that you can find on Google Trend. In the past month, searches for how to make hand sanitizers have grown to 4,950% worldwide. Uh, so now I'm going to show you why you shouldn't let a good crisis go to waste, no? As harsh as it sounds, uh, every crisis uh, brings opportunity. And I invite you also to play with uh, Google Trend and not only take my word in, in the screenshots that we took. But here, for example, it's the trend for these keywords in the past 12 months. We have commercial cleaning, office cleaning, cleaning company. So we can see that it's very st steady. And uh, from uh, basically January, February, start picking up. Here we can see in the past 90 days, where uh, in this case, well, the way that uh, Google Trends works is that they give you a punctuation from zero to 100, and 100 is that is super trending, no? Uh, so here with the commercial cleaning, office cleaning, cleaning company in the past 90 days, we can see a little bit that again, the spikes are more often. So if we add disinfectant to the equation, we can see that compared to the other keywords, disinfectant is through the roof because disinfectant also includes uh, products and not only uh, services so everything that it's disinfected uh, that you can use in terms of uh, promoting your business uh, like disinfectant service or, or even uh, if you have some kind of disinfected product use it because people are searching a lot online for this keyword so here is in the past 30 days and again uh, disinfectant has a uh, go uh, a little bit lower, but uh, still very relevant. Uh, the trend is now that it's going uh, down, uh, but again, 
uh, if we see the searches later on in terms of volume, still a very relevant keyword. Now moving forward, we have that commercial cleaning, office cleaning, cleaning company, and house cleaning. Surprisingly, uh, it's the one that is uh, trending the most. Uh, so this is in the past 30 days. So here you can have a lot of fun uh, figuring out uh, what's happening in the industry and just to see it in, in, in real data, no, and, and Playing with the tool is the actual tool, it's just googletrends.com. We can see that this tool not only tells you what's trending, but it also tells you where it's trending. So uh, if uh, you have an office, I don't know, in Alaska, uh, you know that disinfectant services is something that people are searching a lot, that everything related to disinfect. So, uh, it's definitely interesting to go a little bit more deeper and you can uh, uh, sort by uh, metro, city, and, uh, and start digging a little bit more so you can tailor your marketing efforts to these keywords and also to understand what kind of products or services uh, offering. So this is another example. We have commercial cloud cl couch cleaning, which uh, I think it's a little bit random, but breakout means that the searches compared to a normal is uh, uh, through the roof. So this is a very interesting thing for those who offer this kind of uh, service. Commercial cleaning supply, the searches have uh, gone uh, uh, plus 450%. Commercial cleaning services overall uh, has spiked 200%. Uh, percent. And this is without all the businesses being open, again, which is uh, insane. So I just want to open your mind and, and, and make you aware that this is a free tool that you guys can use. Uh, here again, you have cleaning services, commercial cleaning, and so on. Pressure washer is something that is also trending. Carpet cleaning companies has a 120% uh, increase in searches. So I invite you to, to play around, but the data what is showing us is that there is a high demand for services uh, and sometimes you have to go very specific as we saw as couch uh, business uh, cleaning i think it was something like that uh, and leverage that but uh, there is still a big demand for the cleaning services and uh, it's not me telling you as you can see this is uh, google uh, showing you that people are searching for what you have to offer. So going back to the presentation and, and skipping the screenshots, that is more or less what I show you. Uh, this is another type of data from uh, uh, Yelp that I think is very interesting because as you are now, you have your own sales strategy, it's worth focusing on businesses that are gonna survive and that are thriving. So here are some of the categories that are rising. Uh, guns and ammo, and, uh, ammo has been uh, insane in the US, pharmacy, grocery, taxis, and so on. So we will send you all of this data uh, later on so you can uh, digest it uh, with more time. These are the categories that are uh, falling tax services, toy stores, day spas, and so on. So uh, my advice with, uh, after digesting this type of data and, and doing a lot of research that uh, we're gonna share via email, not only in this presentation, is that now is the time to focus, no? Uh, if uh, you don't have a niche, uh, maybe it's time to pursue one specific niche. And you have to ask yourself who needs your service today and who will survive and thrive after the crisis, no? So I'm not going to focus on gyms. I'm not going to focus on spas and things like that. They are going to have a hard time after this uh, pandemic uh, is over or after the, the government allow us to open our doors. We're going to focus on essential business and we're going to focus on companies that uh, we know that are 
again, not only going to survive, but they're going to thrive. So today, if you have to, to start today and, and, and uh, realign and, and adjust your sales strategy, my recommendation is to uh, start focusing on some of these uh, industries. No? Funeral homes, it's something that we have seen uh, a lot of demand. Assisted living, manufacturers, veterinarians, accounting firms, doctor's office, transportation, grocery stores, legal dentists, nursing homes, banks, pharmacies, going and Amo, and hotels, the ones that you know that are big enough not eh, to, to stand and, 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 and survive. So what do we do knowing this data? No, knowing that, okay, we know that there are a list of essential businesses eh, that I know that they're open today and I know that they're probably going to survive because uh, we have used also Google Trends to search uh, with the other tools that we use all of this industry and uh, the demand for uh, most of these uh, services has gone up. Uh, and that's what we're going to show you. What can we do knowing that uh, these are the businesses to focus if your case is B2B, your case is B2C and you focus on homes and uh, the end consumer, there's still a big demand uh, for cleaning services. And we also saw it in, in uh, Google Trends. So uh, we are running campaigns today and uh, some of the things that I'm gonna say moving forward are more focused on the B2B space, but it applies exactly the same in the B2C space as we are doing both at the moment. So first of all, you have to focus on retention. Uh, client communication, it's key. Uh, I don't know how often before the pandemic you guys communicate with uh, your clients, but if you didn't do it often, it's good to have a newsletter or once a week, uh, grab the phone and call your more, most important clients, uh, ask them uh, about their business, about uh, their family and offer them some kind of products if you have something that you can give them uh, as an added value. And uh, believe me, sooner or later, they will appreciate it and uh, you're gonna build loyalty and probably you will find an opportunity to upsell. Uh, so keep clients updated, set expectations, and let them know that you and your team are still there and prepare to handle the crisis and email, record videos, put yourself in social media. Let them know how you're handling the crisis and what you're doing to keep the workplace safe and virus and bacteria free. If you let them know that you have X product that will help disinfect and clean their office, this becomes an opportunity to upsell many of you use uh, disinfecting products that claim that kills 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria. So this is the moment to double down on your marketing efforts and uh, sell those disinfecting products. And for those of you who don't have those kind of products, uh, you will need to find a way to put it in your in your priorities as even uh, if things go back to normal tomorrow things are gonna people are gonna prioritize uh, disinfecting services uh, along with cleaning services so again this is a, a way to communicate uh, what you're doing market second point that after focusing on retention is market your business harder than ever and we will show you in detail what we are doing currently with our clients uh, but overall uh, these are the things that I want you to at least choose a couple of them and, and go all in. Record social media. So we saw that there is a record, record social media consumption, consumption. So it's crucial that you put yourself out there. Uh, for the first time in a long time, Facebook and Instagram are bringing a B2B leads at a very low cost. We spent last year a crazy amount uh, of money invested in uh, Facebook and Instagram for a uh, commercial cleaning and the results were not great at all. For those who have tried, uh, you know that, that this channel can be very difficult for B2B space. That's not the case that we're seeing today and right now. 
And I think, again, when uh, things go back to normal, uh, that is going to be something progressive. We're going to see that the, the demand and, and, and it's going to be higher. And I think Facebook and Instagram are going to play a very important role to capture those clients. Google uh, AdWords has less competitors. A lot of people are panicking, are freaking out, are uh, waiting for the government to save them, are not taking action. And a lot, a lot of companies, and I can tell you by experience because uh, it happened and, and some of our clients decided to put everything on pause, hoping that, that something's going to change and, and, and everything go back to normal. So what that translates is that there is many people doing advertising. So the cost per keyword, per action, per acquisition, it's lower. You no know, cost to acquire a new client. So Google My Business is a must. Google My Business is something that is working very well. It takes time, but it's something that you can start today as a lot of companies are putting their Google My Business on hold also, or uh, saying that uh, they're uh, closed for the time being. So for those who don't know, this is Google My Business. Just to give you an example, this is again one of our clients. And there is a, we're gonna do another webinar focus on, on Google My Business, but it's not that hard. You don't, it has its tricks and hacks, but uh, overall to set it up, if you don't have it set it up, it, it's very easy. And you can optimize it, and, and that's where we're gonna focus our next webinar. But in this case, as you can see, we post this 17 hours ago, seven days ago, and we're constantly putting content. It's like a blog post relevant to the timing and updated with uh, the relevant keywords that we're finding in, in Google Trend and that we know that people are searching in this case in Tampa Bay. So Google My Business is a, a way I'm gonna show you in a bit to generate a lot of leads and traffic as people call directly from here, from the website, and when they uh, search you in Google Maps, they find you through Google My Business. Call email marketing, focusing on essential businesses. So I show with you and share a list of businesses that we're focusing. And there are tools that uh, we will share with you like this one that are very affordable, cost like a hundred bucks per month, where basically you type uh, the business that you want to focus. In this case, we are putting transportation in Salt Lake City. So that's another industry that we think that it's not going anywhere. And what we're doing right here is uh, downloading this database. So we have phone, we have number, we have website, we have LinkedIn, Facebook, and so on. And uh, we're sending call emails and we're doing uh, advertising to this database and uh, we're touching them in different ways to create that awareness. And again, to focus on businesses that are worth our efforts in today's world that is very different from a couple of months. Uh, we're also sending mails. Uh, that's if you have a niche, it's better because again, if not, you will have to spend crazy amount of money to target everyone. So choose one specific industry that you feel comfortable, that you have a proof of concept, that you can say, I use, uh, I don't know, I clean uh, uh, these type of companies and you can show the logos and you can have even testimonial even better and double down in uh, uh, that industry. So uh, press release is a must also. There are a lot of uh, very, very interesting articles. For example, this one in NPR, the, there may not be enough well-trained workers to clean up where coronavirus has been. So showing this to our clients and using this type of content and personalize it, uh, has helped us a lot to position ourselves uh, as industry leaders. So uh, like this one, you just have to search in Google and you will find a lot of very good material. And if you can afford to pay for a PR press release that you can share not only with your client, but put it in social media, uh, it will position you very well and definitely is a card that you wanna have in hand uh, because it will become very, very handy in the short term, and uh, I'm talking the next three, four months. 
keep your SEO strategy running. For those of you who have a website, the blog, and Google My Business is part of an SEO strategy. And as you have less competitors today, that are, there is a lot of people on pause. And the opportunities to rank organically has never been uh, a better than today. And as I have mentioned many times, focus on business are more likely to survive the pandemic. So just to show you a little bit what we have seen you know, in, in the past and this is a screenshot from Facebook, I can go here to our Facebook ad account for Jampro Miami, that is one of our clients. Uh, and this is the amount of leads that we have gotten in the past 14 days. Uh, the cost per lease is uh, $6.66 for residential, because again, as I mentioned, it's B2C and B2B. And for B2B, this is uh, $24, which is insane to get a commercial account for this price. And again, this doesn't mean that 34 will become 100% uh, clients no uh, you know that a lead is a lead then you have to qualify them work them and so on but uh, there is a lot of activity this is not the normal no and uh, just to show you something very cool also that's we track our, our phone calls through google my business we can see here uh, in a couple of clients that that we have uh, it's jumper tampa in miami that we track in uh, we're doing some experiments with them tracking some phone calls from google my business to understand if our efforts are paying off but here is april 13 and i get a notification every time someone calls so you can see google my business google my business landing page is, is uh, from facebook newsletter is from the call emails uh, so there is a lot of activity that's what i uh, that uh, what you i got what i want you to see you know uh, not only here of course there was a big uh, like three weeks ago that was insane now things are a little bit slower uh, compared to two weeks ago but it doesn't mean that they're slow at all uh, and that peak is gonna come i think uh, 2x more than it was when a, a business start opening no so this is uh, some of the the calls here you can see the activity we have uh in the last 30 days, uh, 38 calls from Facebook. This is additional to the leads because calls, uh, Facebook don't register the calls, no? So again, nine minutes, nine minutes, seven minutes, and so on. So there are qualified calls. So to my point, uh, put yourself out there. If you can afford, invest in your business. Uh, it would definitely pay off sooner than later. So this is a Google My Business. For example, Google My Business also give you its own analytics. Let me put it in presentation mode. And uh, you don't need nothing special. Again, it's just Google Analytics. It tells us that 77 people visit our website, 20 request direction, and 41 uh, calls from uh, Google My Business, that it's all organic, no? So just to go deeper on what exactly we did uh, to get these results, here, uh, for those who don't know uh, what is a funnel, that's what we're doing always uh, offline and online. It's building a funnel, creating awareness, then uh, getting people to trust us. Then when people are aware of, of our existence and they're looking for a, our a business similar to us, they will go into the consideration stage, compare us to our competitors, then go to this phase in 10, and finally go to become a customer. No? So I love this definition. A marketing funnel is a way of breaking down the customer journey all the way from awareness stage when they first learn about our, your business to the purchase stage when they're ready to buy or they become your customers. No? So this more or less what we're doing. Uh, we try to map uh, everything that we do online and offline. So that way we can leverage the efforts offline and the efforts online. For example, if you have a, a sales force and you have two guys going around and, and 
give I don't know and give flyers on their on their people office or something like that. In those flyers, we try to put a code or a special landing page or website that we can track if it's working or not. So in a one of the things, uh, one of the funnels, the whole thing that that you're seeing right here is what we call a funnel that we're doing is very similar to this. No, we have an AdWords campaign, we have a Facebook campaign, we drive people to a landing page where there is all the information, people clicking the call to action that they want to request more info or, or a free budget. Then uh, it opens a form and when people click on the landing page or they even see a video in Facebook that it's what we're promoting, we have the capabilities to retarget them and to do remarketing, meaning that we can show the ad again, again, and again to the same person until they take some action. Uh, and finally, some of you love to have a calendar. And uh, for those who have a calendar, great, I don't recommend it, where the, uh, the customer can choose their date and time for, for the appointment. And finally, the thank you page and text message reminder that uh, of the appointment, if you have a, a calendar, if not, it's just we send text message, hey, thank you for requesting more information. Someone will contact you shortly and so on. We follow up a lot with email and text. As For those who have experience with advertising, you know that sometimes it can get uh, difficult to get the lead on the phone. So we try to... Uh, follow up as much as we can and a funnel as you can see can be as simple or as a complex uh, as this this that we have here that i'm gonna go into detail the important uh, thing is that i invite you to try to map your funnel to, so you can understand what is working and what's not no? and this is how our funnel looks in real life we have a uh, Google AdWords coming to the landing page. We have the ads. We have uh, people the form. People submit the form, go to a thank you page, and then uh, they start receiving emails, ongoing, ongoing emails, sorry, until they become uh, customers. No, so these are the ads uh, that we're running for some of our clients. For those of you who doesn't have any disinfectant product like uh, this uh, client that. Uh, they use something that's called the Envirashield. Uh, I recommend you to post pictures of you with a mask and gloves and cleaning equipment uh, because that's the other thing that is working for us very well. No? So it's just very, very few texts and the video that he explained what's the machine and how to use it and that it's very safe to use it and so on. But mostly people pay attention to this, keep the viruses out of the office, and then they pay attention to what we call the lower third, that is the message here. And finally, the third message that we put in the video, it's the, the call now to this number, and that's the number that we track that I showed before, and that has the, the 38 calls you know, in the past month. So, it's very important that if you're gonna do any type of advertising, because I know that uh, most of you or some of you probably had experience in the past, and uh, it's always a matter of trying until you're gonna crack the code sooner or later if you do it uh, often enough. But it's crucial that you know your numbers, no? And uh, I will send you, uh, there is a PDF that we will send explaining what we are tracking and what we recommend you guys to track. But it's super important to know if a customer is costing you 50 bucks or 300 bucks or 1000 bucks, no? And are you willing to pay $1,000 to acquire a new customer? That's gonna depend. If it brings uh, $10,000 a, a month in income, of course, I, I will pay more than that. So it, online, people sometimes see things very short term and they don't realize that, okay, I might be willing to pay $500 to acquire a new client because that client is gonna, on average, stay with me a, a year or because I do a yearly contract. If you do yearly contracts, maybe paying 300, 200, 500, or 50 bucks, whatever, it makes more sense than if you see it. No, it's just one month. Uh, I'm not going to charge 300 one month, and that's it. No. So my point is uh, don't do advertising if you're not going to measure. Uh, that's the beauty of online. You know where every penny is going. 
So my advice is be proactive, no? And uh, we have all of these efforts that we mentioned before. Uh, this, uh, choose one, choose two, depending on your capabilities, on your team, or just uh, basically go all in on all of them. Uh, but uh, I bet you everything that uh, if you are consistent, uh, because consistency is everything in life, if you ask me, it will pay off. If you touch your prospects in multiple points, they will remember you and uh, they are aware that you exist. And for those who are now on pause or if you are a gym owner or something like that, they will realize that you exist because they will see you again and again and again. And if you think like me that uh, uh, businesses are gonna open their doors in the next, at least worst case, three months, like super worst case, that's my uh, scenario, my personal scenario based on, on logic. Uh, I cannot say anything. I know everybody has their own opinion. It's now, it's never been a better pos a opportunity to position yourself, no? And uh, no, let know your community that you are an expert and you're taking a, uh, the leading, the leading in in uh, the new cleaning industry or world because this uh, crisis will uh, change us and affect us all. All no, just uh, another cool thing that I added uh, uh, moments before the webinar is that this is a sticker, and uh, now that uh, we did uh, this one, we have another one that is just uh, uh, more focusing on cleaning, uh, but. It, if I'm a customer, I'm going to a doctor's office and I see something like that in the in the door. And at the beginning, some of our customers were like, they were doubting if they will, I don't know, put that in their doors or in their windows and so on. But uh, finally, when uh, they agreed, uh, it's a game changer. This is another way that we're also tracking this phone number and it's a sticker that makes uh, people safe. And again, if I'm going to a doctor's appointment and I see this facility has been disinfected with on, eliminating 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses, I will definitely feel much safer. No? So there are creative things and small things that you guys can do, uh, again, to uh, create branding and brand awareness and, and position yourself as leaders. These stickers are less than, uh, I don't know, it costs sense to do it and, and it's just putting it in, in your current customer's doors and uh, your customers, if you explain it the right way, they will uh, agree and, and they will encourage to do it. And uh, in this blank space, we're putting the date to put the pressure that, well, I don't want to go into an office that if I see that last time that they clean or disinfect was three months ago, yeah, I would definitely not feel comfortable, no? So yeah, that's another idea that I leave it in the table. So my, finally, we're, we're in the I think last slide, but uh, before you go, I wanna leave you with these messages uh, because this is what we're doing in our own company and uh, with our partners. Lead, don't panic, steady at the wheel if you have a, a clear goal. If you focus, you know where you're going, you're gonna do everything to get there. Stay close to your relationships, to your clients, focus on retention. Cash is king, so be smart with your money. Send weekly communications, record videos, put yourself out there, reinvent the way that you sell. If you haven't done any of these strategies, now is the time to do it. Again, everything has changed. The way that you used to sell probably you're gonna need some adaptation. There is a big opportunity in adversity and we saw that also focus on retention, don't stop marketing. And if you ask me most importantly, get uncomfortable. If you're comfortable in a crisis right now doing the same thing that you're doing, my intuition would say that you're not going in the right direction. So yeah, it's time to get uncomfortable and have someone that you trust, that you admire, that challenges your decision, so you avoid making emotional decisions. So I leave you with this quote, a man who stops advertising to save money is like a man who stops the clock to save time, no? Uh, and some of you might say, yeah, because, because you're at the, a marketer, whatever. I show you the data, I show you the results, 
I show you the demand. And uh, yeah, if you wanna grow your business and not only survive, uh, I'm not saying it's gonna happen uh, overnight, but I, consistency pays. And I definitely think it's a good time to put yourself out there. So we're gonna leave you with some of the resources that I'm gonna share with you via email. And that resources are, first we have a, a private Facebook group that I invite you all to join. We're posting a, almost on a daily basis and on a weekly basis, I'm, I'm posting different strategies and brainstorming and also updating on the things that are working and also of the things that are not working. And we are giving you 84 ads swipes for you and uh, your business so if uh, you want to take uh, matters into your own hand uh, this definitely will come super handy this just 84 ads from companies that you probably know here in the united states that are doing facebook ads so today's world everything online is super transparent you can spy ethically on your competitors with the right tools facebook even allows you you can go to any facebook page and see if uh, your competitor is advertising or not and that's what we did we screenshot all of the ads for commercial and residential so you can uh, know what you're against and get creative and finally, uh, we send this PDF also to our clients that uh, we're going to share with you guys that it's a uh, survive and thrive uh, COVID-19 proof your business with these resources. And it's just uh, all of the grants that are, are there, the programs uh, that the government is giving and private company to support uh, uh, your companies. And we share this with our clients of a way to add value as i mentioned before instead of maybe you don't want to leave them with uh, gloves and masks because it's hard to find you can do things like this sending this pdf and just customize it and to your own brand and copy paste and send it they will appreciate a lot and again if you build loyalty today tomorrow it will definitely pay off. So you have Facebook is offering 100 million in operational costs, in ads. So if you don't have an advertising budget, Facebook and Google are offering grants. You just have to apply with your email. It's as easy as that and so on. So there is a lot of resources and here we uh, finally add more resources of the database uh, provider that we're using that I showed you before that is here so you can call call and email and so on and another resources no so finally uh, i'm uh, leaving my email in uh, in my signature you guys will have uh, this call to action for those who want to keep the conversation going without any type of commitment and who want to brainstorm who need some help implementing some of this uh, happy to help no so with that said, uh, thank you all for staying uh, through the webinar. I um, uh, know that I have here some questions and this is the time to ask some questions for those of you who have some. I will do my best to answer them. Let's see. Oops. Thank you, Adina, for sharing the link to the group. What kind of messaging was used in those ads that generated so many leads? So I showed the ads. I don't know if that question came before I showed the showing the ad, but uh, the messaging come hand in hand with uh, what we see in Google Trends. And uh, not only in this space, we are, I have used this tool and 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 this strategy for a long period of time and definitely pay off. You now, if I know that people are searching like crazy certain keywords, we use that keyword as much as we can. So the video, it's just, it's uh, we we did. If you see the video, is so raw, like it's just a camera and a mic that costs. The camera is is an iPhone, no, and uh, the mic is a twenty dollar mic that you buy in Amazon and a tripod, and that's it. We did it super fast. Uh, 
the owner was super nervous. We had to record it like a hundred times and edited again. It was super, super raw. And uh, this is the video that has performed the best. And uh, people relate, like people now these days, they, they don't care about the big production, the lights, etc. They They relate to, to, to humans, you know, and uh, if you show that you're just a business owner, being honest, uh, they will definitely pay attention. Uh, uh, the other question is, I see ha, 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 reactions on your Facebook ads and several comments. Did you receive backlash on these ads? A hundred percent. There is no way that you're not going to receive backlash in any ad, uh, even if uh, you take the pandemic, uh, out of the picture, you're always gonna get the uh, uh, haters. Doesn't matter what industry, there is always gonna be one. And yeah, at the beginning, there is a lot of people you're using the pandemic to make money. Well, the other option is stay at home and, and do nothing, no? Of course, we don't answer that, but uh, we try to reply. Either way, for Facebook, Facebook loves comments. It doesn't matter if it's bad or good because it means engagement. So as much engagement as you can, you will get lower cost per click, lower cost per action, and so on. So don't be afraid about the backlash. I mean, I said it before, it's time to get uncomfortable. Like uh, we didn't used to do as, much, as many webinars as we're doing uh, basically on a weekly basis now. And uh, I'm putting myself uh, in Facebook Live, things that I, I never done before. I didn't have the necessity and now, uh, I, I'm enjoying it. So yeah, prepare for some backlash. It doesn't mean that it, you're gonna get a hundred percent negative uh, comments. No, uh, nothing like that. It's it's not that bad. Also, no, it's just a couple of comments every every week. Uh, let me see what else I have here. Okay, so I think. That's it. Anybody has any more questions, doubts, comments, something they want to share? Otherwise, we are good to go. So thank you everyone for joining. We will send the recording of the webinar along all of the uh, PDFs and, and the resources that we promised and uh, feel free to reach out if there is any doubt if you want to go more in depth in any of the topics or learn more about a, a specific strategy that we're implementing happy to answer thank you everyone stay healthy be proactive get uncomfortable and hope to see you in the next webinar thank you Let's stop sharing.